Welcome to Dark Side Reviews. My name is Al, and today we are talking my top 10 action shows of 2019. And there can be no question, right, that we have had some phenomenal shows in 2019. Listen, let's not waste any time, you guys. Let's jump right in with number 10. Number 10, The Punisher. The Punisher is Marvel's best comic book to TV show adaptation that we've seen so far, in my opinion. And the reason for that is how well it captures the essence of the Frank Castle that we know from the comic books and how well they tell the story in the show. The storytelling is very raw, it's visceral, it's energetic, it's powerful, it's aggressive. All these different tenets that we see of Castle in the comics, we get that reflected in the show and it makes it such an entertaining Marvel show. Number nine, Watchmen. Now, if you're a comic book fan, you know that Watchmen is groundbreaking within the world of comics. It is really the first work to give us this subversive look into the world of superheroes. What I like about the Watchmen series, though, is how it really kind of expounds and expands upon the original material, the source material. It doesn't just retell the Watchmen story, Story, but it gives us an expansion of the Watchmen story and what's going on within the Watchmen universe. And the show is really smartly done. It's tightly written and it's suspenseful in the sense that it really does keep you guessing from episode to episode. So I found Watchmen pretty entertaining, though I did have some problems with some of the episodes. But on the whole, Watchmen deserves to be on this list. Number eight, The Witcher. Now you might be thinking, time out, Al. The Witcher hasn't even dropped yet and you have it on your list as one of the best shows of 2019? What? I'm telling you guys, this is just off of what I've seen from the trailers and anticipation of this show being a fantastic representation of the source material. And of that, I mean the material that we've gotten from the books. I'm really excited about the potential that The Witcher is going to bring us for very powerful storytelling, especially visually, and also some of the most phenomenal action scenes that we probably have seen for a long, long time. And for that reason, I had to include The Witcher on my list just off of anticipation as well. And that's why we have it as number eight. Number seven, Apple TV's C. C is a really interesting show by Apple TV built in a dystopian future where the majority of the population cannot see and for those rare few that have the actual gift of sight, it's both seen as a gift and as a perversion of what is normal. And they built a really fascinating story off of this, really in a world where you get to see the majority of the players in this story are operating in complete blindness. And it's really fascinating to see how how they execute this story. It is hugely entertaining, a show that I would have missed if I had not been paying attention, and it definitely deserves to be on this list. Number six, Doom Patrol. What I love about Doom Patrol is the vintage nature and feel of this show, both visually as well as the writing of the show. And the story is fascinating as we have this group of really kind of misfit heroes, and this is really a show about kind of a subversive look on superheroes as well but we have this group of misfit heroes that come together to form this team while at the same time we get a deeper look into their individual lives and we get to see all the baggage that has occurred from their past which affects them presently. The show is very entertaining and if you've not seen Doom Patrol then you definitely need to make sure that you check it out because it is definitely worthy of number six on this list. Number five, The Umbrella Academy. Now The Umbrella Academy is very similar to Doom Patrol especially in the tone and kind of visual feel feel of the show, but where I think it excels over Doom Patrol is the nature of the story in the Umbrella Academy, where essentially you have these babies that have all been brought together from different places in the world, and they're all being raised in this one home under the watchful but cruel eye of a caretaker that helps each of them develop their individual powers. And what we get to see in the Umbrella Academy is how the cruelty of their upbringing has affected each one of them as individuals. And it's really fascinating to see how the development of a young child's environment impacts impacts who they are as adults, particularly when you're talking about adults with these special abilities, and how when they are adults, they all have to come together to deal with this kind of global threat. And it's fascinating to see how all of that is worked out within the story. So if you've not seen The Umbrella Academy, it's one that you definitely need to check out. It is on Netflix. I would actually love to know your opinion of the show once you've seen it. Number four is Cinemax's Warrior. 
And let me just tell you, if you've not seen Warrior, you do not know what you are missing. It is a show that more accurately portrays the vision that Bruce Lee had for the old show Kung Fu starring David Carradine. And it is phenomenal. And when I tell you that the show is so well crafted, so well written, the characters are interesting, so multi-layered, and the martial arts execution is fantastic. Where is an amazing show for so many different reasons. Just the cinematic value, the storytelling, the writing, all of it. It is really a great show and it definitely deserves a spot at number four on the list. Number three, The Boys. <laughs> the Boys is insane. And there's no wonder that so many people love this show because it examines the question of whether or not if there were superheroes present in our world today, that they would be overcome with the fame and the celebrity of what they can do as superhuman beings. And it looks at all of those aspects. But what also makes the boys really interesting is it also examines the human element, all the different things that they have going on as individuals in their lives, but how they're always expected to put forth this perception of never being phased by the normal circumstances that occur within life. And it examines all of these different factors and so much more. And it does it in such a great and interesting way. It is a phenomenal show. And it is an easy number three on this list. Number two, Into the Badlands. Into the Badlands has probably one of the most interesting takes on the post-apocalyptic genre that we've seen on TV today. It is a martial arts action drama and it is fantastic. And the martial arts execution in this show is un paralleled, not to mention a hugely engaging story with very, very interesting, multi-layered, multi-motivational characters. It is a phenomenal drama and it easily makes number two on my list. It flipped back and forth between one and two. It is phenomenal. If you've not seen it, please do yourself a favor and check it out on Netflix or on Amazon Prime. You will not be disappointed. Number one is The Mandalorian. I love this show and it's super impressive because I'm someone that was not a big fan of the Star Wars films outside of the original three. Notice I say it was because The Mandalorian has changed me. This show is phenomenal. I love how it gives us that space western feel. I love the score to it. I love the tightness of the storytelling. The fact that it's a very focused story where we concentrate on the Mandalorian and there are not a whole bunch of different side plots or subplots going on that are distracting us from the main storyline. I love the tightness of the story in the sense that we get a very, very focused and entertaining story within 30 to 37 minutes. It is a phenomenal work and it's hugely entertaining. Plus you have the added bonus of this being something that you can actually watch with the whole family and enjoy. The Mandalorian is fantastic. Now, if you want to see something that's really, really interesting, check out my most controversial video of the year. It's right there. And hop over and see what you think about that. I'll meet you there as a matter of fact because people are blasting me over this one.